We're at Gamers and Geeks Monthly Modern June Edition, and we are with James Novak. All right, James. So you want our monthly modern, which means that you get to do our deck tech. So let's uh, let's get it started. Let's get into it. First off, what deck? are you playing? I'm playing Mardu Pyromancer. Mardu Pyromancer, okay. And then why this deck? Is it like your favorite deck? Is it a good meta call or what? Uh, it's the only deck I personally own, first of all. Uh, like, it's a fairly new deck that came up when I got into Modern. Uh, so I built it, and I think it's great in the room, it's great in the meta, so I ran it, and general consensus for Modern is play the deck that uh, you know the best. Alright, so it looks like we're going to get into this, so we're going to get this adjusted here. We're going to go down, and let's, let's touch on your mana base first. Uh, we have two basic mountains, three basic swamps with the white-bordered swamp for the right. tilt factor. Uh, you need a decent amount of basics in this deck because, after all, it is a Blood Moon deck, and it's definitely a deck where you aren't incredibly greedy with your mana base for the most part. Uh, I run eight fetches, four wooded foothills, four bloodstained mires. The wooded foothills are because I'm poor and can't afford arid maces, like a real human being. Uh, they just uh, fetch my blood crypts and the foundry for the most part while being able to. So, a one of foundry, so if they do that, you can't cast white spells, but I guess your only white spell is. Cast my only souls. white cells is Lingering Souls, and I have a bunch of discard outlets, so I'm not totally worried about the Sacred Foundry being Ghost Quartered or anything like that. Okay. And then, alright, let's get into it. Looks like your first couple spells are... Well, I have Black Cleave Cliffs. It's fast mana, it hurts me less. This is a deck where I need to leverage my life total. Right. And the more efficiently I do that, the better it is. Alright. Uh, I have four Inquisition, three Thoughtseize. It's the standard package for Mardu, seven Hand Hate spells. At the core, it's really important to go turn one, uh, hand pain, and then turn two, like young pyromancer or something of that sort. Okay. Uh, kill spells, we have three fatal push, four lightning bolt. Lightning bolt is an insane kill spell. Fatal push is really good, especially with eight fetches being able to find the revolt, as well as it just hitting a lot of the things in the meta right now. We have one Blood Moon, which is below average for the list. I didn't think Blood Moon was the best for this room, but Blood Moon's definitely a card that just locks certain decks out of the game and just auto wins. Right. Colagon's Command is a two for one card that lets me get back some of my creatures, make you discard, all sorts of fun stuff. Collective Brutality does everything ever and is super good against Burn. Dreadborn Terminator, the same thing. Basically, Dreadborn hits Planeswalkers for utility and their two mana kill anything. Uh, Faithless Looting is Brainstorm that makes you discard a card. It's super good. Uh, it helps you find all of your high priority threats when you're flooded out in the late game, which makes you top deck potentially even better than Jun. We have one Liliana of the Veil, which fits the which, top deck mode. Which is the the card that you won today, the Sweet Altar. Mm -hmm. Got the Altar in here already. Ahead and replace it out. All right. Uh, Lily is just good for going into a one for one game and beating control. We have Hazaret, which is just a monster that can close games really quickly and pose a threat that my opponent can't deal with. Lingering Souls. Uh, it's an insane two for one card that beats a lot of things. Young Pyromancer is an incremental advantage card that focuses on just barely beating out your opponent in one for one wars. And Bedlam Reveler is a two mana three four that draws three, which is insane when I have this many instants and sorceries. Right. And sideboard. So no, we're, we're, we're gonna get in the sideboard tech now. Yep. What have we got in your sideboard? Uh, we have one Anger of the Gods for creature based decks and three Ensnaring Bridge to support that strategy in a way that doesn't kill my own token plan. Right. We have two Wear and Tear to deal with things like Bogles and Affinity, which Affinity's not terrible, but it's always nice to have art, uh, enchantment removal for some of their stuff like Rest in Peace and Aether Grid. One combo. Uh, it's good against a lot of combo decks. If there was more of a combo deck meta, I'd play more for sure. Goblin Rabble Master is similar to Hazaret in the fact that it's just a massive clock and my opponent needs to find a way to deal with it. Tuna Hill Spell Bomb. Uh, it's lightweight graveyard hate that goes in any matchup where my opponent even remotely cares about their graveyard. Three Leyline of the Void, which is a slam dunk against anything that relies on graveyard, which was a few things tonight. And one Collective Brutality because it's still a do-anything card. Alright, so, I guess we got a couple other questions for you. What would you say 
that your toughest matchup was tonight? Uh, toughest, the pilot, was probably the living end matchup. I had my winning in before top eight, and it, it was just a matchup where game one, he dunked me, game two, I dunked him, and then game three, we tanked for 20 minutes on five turns trying to figure out all of the math on the board state. <laughs> uh, it, it was just a really fun game to pilot, and it was a really hard one to do so, too. All right. And, uh... If you had to choose a card, what card would it be? Faithless looting every time. It so, finds so, so everything else that's pivotal in my faithless deck. Looting is your, it, it, faithless looting is your MVP card, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. And then any changes or tweaks you're thinking about making to the deck? Um, not particularly. It really depends on the room, but I feel pretty comfortable with this list. I would have put in engineered explosives if I had hold on them rather than anger of the gods because it does really well for me. But otherwise, nothing really. All right, man. Hey, well, thank you and congrats. Thank you. Yes, have a nice night. You too.